Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. Today we are going to see how to initialize the Vagrant box and SSH into the box and mess around with the box. So let's get started. So I am in the home directory. Let's create a blank directory named as Vagrant. You can name it whatever you want. Navigate to the folder. So as you can see, there is nothing in here. It is a complete blank folder. To initialize the vagrant box, you will have to give the command vagrant in it. It will initialize the box, but you will have to provide the box name you want to initialize. That is Ubuntu Trust is 64. It is the Ubuntu 14. So we want the Ubuntu 14 box as our vagrant box. So hit enter. What it will do, it will create a vagrant file as it says a vagrant file has been placed in your directory and you are ready to start the box. Before we start, let's see what is in the vagrant file. I am just opening Visual Studio code in the vagrant folder. Okay, this is the vagrant file. One thing I want to mention, the file icon and the syntax highlighting you are seeing, uh, probably you won't see in your system. If you want the file icon and syntax highlighting, you can install two plugins that is vagrant file support and material icon theme. This is the icon theme. If you install these two plugins, you will be able to see the syntax highlighting and the file icon. So let's proceed. The lines followed by the hash symbol are the comments. You can just remove it. And the line it says vagrant config to do config. 2 is the vagrant file API version and config VM box Ubuntu Trust 64. So it is mentioning the vagrant box as Ubuntu Trust 64. If you don't know what you are doing, please don't change the number or don't mess around with this line. After that, you can just remove all the comments. So let's clean up. Okay, these are the networking part and this is the synchronized folder configuration and it is the provider part where you will mention how to start the box and what is your provider and all that stuff and it is the provision part where you want to mention the packages you want in your vagrant box. So let's initialize the box just by uncommenting these two lines. By the way, we will go into this networking stuff and the file sharing in future videos. So let's initialize it and SSH into the box for now. These two lines will initialize the box. However, if you don't uncomment this line, it will even start the box because VirtualBox is the default one. It take VirtualBox as default provider and it will start the Vagrant box. So let's save it. and start the box by vagrant up so before we start the box let's see virtual box i have these three machines so let's see what happens when we give the vagrant up command hit enter when you first give the command vagrant up for the first time it will download a minimal image of the operating system you have mentioned in the vagrant box I have already done this before, so it is not going to take much time. Okay, as you can see, Vagrant default and this ID is popped up and it is running now. It is just creating SSH keys and all the settings. Okay, the vagrant up command has finished. So our box is now running and ready. So let's SSH into the box by vagrant SSH. Now as you can see, we are no longer in our host operating system. We are in the vagrant box that is vagrant at the rate vagrant Ubuntu Trust is 64. You can even verify that by uname minus a Linux Vagrant Ubuntu Trust 64 and all the architecture and the system information it shows. You can do pretty much everything what you can do with a Linux box. So let's first update it.
okay the update command is also finished you can install git apache 2 and everything you can run all the linux command in here So it will install the git even if your host operating system doesn't have git installed but your vagrant box has the git program installed now you can work with git if you want to install apache you can install apache it will install the apache so we will install apache and access the box in future videos so let's exit out of this so we are now in our host operating system to destroy it you can give vagrant destroy this command will destroy the vagrant box however it will not remove vagrant file and the hidden vagrant folder in the current directory but it will remove the box from virtual box so let's give the command and let's see what happens before giving the destroy command let's suspend it what it will do as you can see it is now running if you will give the command let's see what happens it will shut down the vagrant box it saved the state and shut down the vagrant box is now down so if you want to again run the box you can give vagrant up it will just start the box it is just booting the vm okay now as you can see the vagrant box is now running and it has completed the vagrant up command so if you want to destroy the box you can give this command will delete the box from virtual box it is just asking for the permission hit yes okay now as you can see the vagrant box is removed from the virtual box but if you will see we still have the vagrant file and the vagrant hidden folder so in the next video we will see how to configure the network and share file between your host operating system and your vagrant box thank you for watching